good morning or good evening to all and welcome to this masterclass. So today's conversation is going to be both about digital technology and how it can be applied um, to develop Total's downstream business in Africa. And on the second part, we'll talk about diversity. So I'll start by briefly introducing myself. Uh, my name is Salama Tabal. I'm Mauritanian. I grew up and lived in several countries in Africa, in, uh, in Senegal, in Congo, in Togo. And then I moved to Paris where I did my university studies and lived for 14 years. And I graduated in 2007 uh, from a business school called HEC Paris. So as I take you through and describe my professional journey, I would like to take the opportunity to share a few digital experiences I've had and talk about how they have been an important element throughout my career. So let's start with the first example about an online bank business um, that I worked on as a consultant back in 2008-2009. The idea was to launch this online bank um, and it was quite um, an exciting project. So if you remember that time, most banks were preparing the launch of their online business. And the key issues uh, for my client was on one hand uh, to try to take the opportunity and, uh, and uh, benefit from the internet's growth. And on the other hand was to develop customer acquisition. So this involved understanding the customer experience online versus in a traditional branch and also gauging expectations and seeing how we could leverage a traditional bank large retail network which is, I mean, a key asset for a bank. So if it's, it's true that when you compare that with the pure online bank that is starting from scratch, the gap was very uh, significant and, uh, and they had the mileage in understanding the customer journey online. So those were the topics we addressed in that business case. I then joined BNP Paribas in 2010 uh, in retail banking. So in a nutshell, retail banking encompasses the branch networks and the financial services offered to private and corporate clients. So as part of the business development team, one of our mandates was to anticipate the evolution of the retail bank. So the business development team was covering uh, all the countries uh, and all the banks where we were present in Europe. So when it came to talking about the future, uh, we had to rethink all our processes, all our products and services how do we engage differently in a digital era with the customers? How do we do our marketing and our communication, taking into account the change in service models that was going to occur? So well, those were very exciting topics and I'm still quite passionate about them. I then decided to leave France and uh, join Total in Senegal. I will explain a little bit later why. So in 2014, when I joined Total Senegal, I was the head of digital technology, fuel cards and marketing. And two years later, I moved to the Africa division and I was uh, overseeing more or less the same uh, perimeter, the same topics, but at Africa level. And I currently live and work in Malawi, where I have been the managing director for the past two years. Now, I would like to share a few insights about digital technology and how it is applied in business at Total in Africa. So how are we leveraging digital technology to support our traditional business with various initiatives to strengthen our one-stop shop positioning? So let me share a first example, which is about the Touchpoint uh, that we've launched in uh, 2016. It was formerly known as Guichet Unique. So it's a single terminal that aggregates all payment solutions and offers a variety of services to simplify our customers' everyday lives. Touchpoint is a partnership with the African FinTech in Touch, it's a startup, and IT developer Worldline, which is a subsidiary of Atos. So it simplifies, it secures, and it gathers different types of transactions such as mobile money, uh, such as bill payment when you want to pay your electricity or your water bill, um, such as money transfer, in all in a single and unique device. So today we have 10,000 active merchants that are currently equipped with these touch points, including 900 service stations in seven countries. 
and we're also doing 4.5 million digital transactions. So at year end, the ambition is to have 1,500 total service stations equipped in 15 uh, different countries in Africa. So let's rewind a little bit and see how did it start. So this project was initiated in 2014. At the same time, I joined Total Senegal. So being in charge of e-business division, uh, it naturally felt under my portfolio. So we formed a team comprised of the startup members of InTouch and Total Senegal employees to really leverage this platform and integrate and digitalize as many services and processes as possible. So what was interesting at that time, as it was a pilot phase, we were completely given carte blanche and we could test as many ideas as we wanted through iterative cycles. So these methods proved to be quite effective and boosted our creativity. We introduced a loyalty program, for instance, that allowed us to know our end customer and to be able to even greet them by their name when they arrived on the service station, to propose promotions that were based on their level of engagement with the brand. And at the same time, uh, we're collecting data on the usage of this device from our pump attendants. So all this data was captured and recorded, uh, and it was a first for us. It wasn't captured before by any IT system. Another example of usage um, was to record the customer's last oil change, for example, so that we could send a text message when the next one was due. So that is something that, as customers, we always appreciate. So these are the type of one-to-one -one, uh, marketing we wanted to establish with our customers. And the data we captured uh, through the software made that possible. In terms of customer knowledge, uh, it was a great step forward, you can imagine, as we we're finally able to know, uh, listen and engage with our customers with a lot more accuracy than ever before. And the benefits included uh, optimizing the customer journey, for example, uh, being more proactive in our offering of products and services. On the other hand, in terms of people's terms, uh, people terms, it was a great experience as um, it highlighted the importance of change management, both for us internally working with the startup and also on the ground when we're talking and interacting with pump attendants. B2B is another area where we use several digital solutions to better serve our customers. Like any other business, uh, our industry is no stranger to big data, to technology and digital innovation. In Africa, we're building a differentiating and agile ecosystem of solutions, bringing together customers, uh, employees, service providers, and also many other partners. I can give you a few examples, so we can talk about um, TC Fleet, which is for the geolocalization of our entire fleet that can be quite useful for a large corporate. Smart tanks, um, for setting up connected tanks for optimal uh, stock management. Optimizer, that is quite interesting for a mining uh, industry, where real-time monitoring and effective management uh, of your fuel consumption. So these tools allow us, through digital transformation, to focus deeper um, and understand better uh, the, our customer needs. In Malawi, I can share another example uh, in terms of B2B, we are in the process of deploying an application called Where Is My Track? So quickly, it allows a customer to track and know exactly where the deliveries are. Has it left the depot? Is it on its way? And when exactly is it going to reach the agreed location? So it has been deployed successfully in other parts and you can see the significant uh, value add it can have in terms of scheduling for the operations teams uh, on the ground. So those are a few examples of uh, digital solutions that have been deployed in the B2B uh, and corporate uh, section. Um, to wrap up about digital now and digital technology, uh, let me talk about uh, digital and COVID-19 and share an example on uh, how this crisis has led to innovation for the benefit of the consumers. So the unprecedented situation created by the COVID-19 pandemic has turned down all businesses and including our African retail network. 
So after taking the basic measures, which are protecting our team and customers and um, also contributing to community solidarity, we as affiliates have worked quite hard in the front lines to adapt to the situation and deploy innovative and agile solutions. So one example can be found in um, La Réunion Island, uh, where in-store shopping has become very complicated. Obviously, you can understand to do these um, uh, protective measures. And uh, only one major retailer offered click and collect service. And the pickup schedules were completely overloaded. So what the affiliate did was, with a focus on business continuity and compliance with these protective measures, they implemented a click and collect service in some of their shops. So agility was clearly the key factor. As a customer, you could drive in and pick up your groceries at any bonjour shop. So, and it was set in 15 days. So that was record time. If I come back closer, if I talk about Total Malawi's experience during this uh, uh, COVID-19 pandemic, I can safely say that we managed to work success successfully from home and implement our business uh, continuity plan to ensure that no critical service would run out of fuel. Most of us access data over the phone as the 3G network is relatively good and almost everybody was already equipped with laptops. But most importantly, in terms of management and leadership, what was very uh, critical for us was the constant alignment that was done with the teams on a daily basis and at all levels to ensure that they were heard, they were listened to, and also to ensure that this, this new way of working was, um, was effective. Let's move to the third part of this masterclass and talk about the whole different subject, which is diversity and how it has been a central element in our HR strategy. So if I talk about diversity as a performance lever, as you all know, Total is an international company and has operations everywhere in more than 130 countries with 100,000 employees. So the diversity of its talent and management is crucial in keeping a company like ours competitive, innovative and attractive. So when I decided in 2014 uh, to go back to Africa, I wanted to join an international company that had a strong strategy in Africa and that could give me opportunities for growth. So I had interviews in several companies, but what convinced me at Total was the number of very talented people from different backgrounds that I've met, uh, different origins of which Africans, several women, of course, uh, in very high and key positions. So I strongly believe that having a diverse workforce and women in leading position uh, today is as critical as tackling uh, uh, challenges such as climate change. It's a matter of sustainability, especially for a company, an international company like ours, where most of our activities are outside France. If we talk about diversity as a tangible commitment, so this commitment concerns both the front lines and the highest levels of leadership in the company. Each unit is responsible for defining its focus areas, depending on the legal environment and business challenges. But two main focus areas are managed at the global level. First is the gender diversity, providing men and women with the same career opportunities up through the highest level of management. And the second one is diverse nationalities, providing all employees the same career opportunities, no matter what their nationalities, up to the highest levels of management. MS Africa's challenges and objectives are aligned with the rest of the group. With one specificity when it comes to um, the affiliates managing directors. When we talk about female uh, managing directors, the initial target we have completely exceeded because we are now at 12 women that are serving as managing directors versus zero in 2010. So you can see the tremendous progress that was made in the last 10 years. In terms of local MDs as well, we're aiming to have local candidates fill 60% of our MD positions by 2021. So there are certainly pros and cons to having KPIs can be seen as quotas, 
But in my opinion, what's important at the end of the day is that we deliver on these targets in a very short period of time and that we stop counting. The day we no longer have to think about how many women we have, I think we will have reached our target. So it's also about accountability. And that's why the targets are important. The same way we put targets on sales and revenues, we have to put targets on diversity. So as MD of Total Malawi, I, like all the other MDs, we have to implement and work to achieve the same targets. Another topic that is uh, important to me is representation. I think representation is key in any environment, and especially for young graduates that would like to join us today. It helps us um, define our own vision, makes us want to grow in one company or another, and it's also a critical retention tool for new recruits. Also, I do believe that uh, having a diverse workforce that mirrors our customer base is very powerful when it comes to understanding and engaging with them on a daily basis. Today, we cannot say that uh, it's an issue of availability of resources. We have to invest and develop the diverse resources we need. Education does not necessarily translate into leadership. I mean, if I take my example, when I graduated, uh, we're 50-50 in terms of gender, um, and it had been a trend for a while, but we still don't have the parity in most businesses and in most uh, leadership positions. So representation does require a strong willingness to develop and promote diversity in all its aspects, in leadership position, and I believe it's our managerial duty to make that happen. We've come now to the end of our masterclass. I would like to thank you for taking the time to listen to it. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you very much.